hello welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome and i hope you stay so if you love jollof rice and chicken keep watching this video i've got some ingredients over here i have garlic ginger and some onions what i'll do is that i'll put them together in a blender and blend everything up i'll get my saucepan and come in with my chicken I will come in with half of the blended ingredients. I'll add my favorite seasoning, black pepper, dark soy sauce, curry, paprika, and some salt to taste. I'll cover this up and put it on medium fire. I'll cook it for about 30 minutes. It's been after about 30 minutes and this is what we have here put a pan on fire and come in with some oil the oil is hot I will come in with about a tablespoonful of all-purpose flour I will let the flour fry for about a minute then I will come in with my chicken I'll fry it till it turns golden brown As you can see is ready so I'll just get them out of the oil it's time for the jollof rice stew I'll put a saucepan on fire and come in with some of the oil I use in frying the chicken I'm doing this because I want that flavor I will come in with the remaining half of the blended ingredients. Afterwards, I will come in with some concentrated tomatoes. I'm using about two littles of concentrated tomatoes. And I'll fry those on medium fire for about 10 minutes. Next, I'll pour in my fresh blended tomatoes. I'll come in with a chicken stock some salt to taste and some extra seasoning cover this up and let it cook on low fire for about 25 minutes so as you can see we have our rice here I would like to use basmati rice this is my favorite rice when I have to cook jollof now the stew is almost ready, it's been cooking for about 30 minutes. I will get a bowl and come in with about a little or two of the stew, this I will use for the chicken. Now I will come in with my washed rice, I like to wash my rice before cooking it. I will give it a good stir. with half a cup of water I'll mix it up very well cover it up and let this cook for about 10 to 15 minutes don't forget we're doing this on super low fire while the rice is cooking I'll get a saucepan and come in with some oil I'm still using the oil I use in frying the chicken I will come in with some dry chili pepper. I'll fry this in the oil for about a minute to infuse it. Then I'll come in with the stew I got from the jollof sauce. I'll let this fry for one minute as well. Afterwards, I will come in with my chicken. I'll pour 
pour in some white wine and cover it up to simmer for about three minutes. So I'm going to check on my jollof rice. As you can see, it's coming out very well. I will come in with about half a cup of water and give it another mix. I'll cover this up and let it cook. Now my chicken is almost ready. I'll drop in some sweet pepper and some chopped onions. Cover this up and let it cook for just one minute. It's been after one minute, it is ready. I'll put off the fire and come in with some parsley. I'll set this aside for later. Now the jollof is still doing well. As you can see, all the water has kind of evaporated and we're still on it. I'll give it a very good mix. This time I wouldn't add any water. I will come in with an aluminium foil, cover it up and trap in all the moisture. We're going to finish cooking this jollof with its own steam. It's been after about 5 minutes and I want to check on it. As you can see, it's coming out great. Cover it for the last time and let it cook for about 5 more minutes. And yes, our jollof rice is ready. And I'll top it up with my spicy pepper chicken. So ladies and gentlemen, our jollof rice and chicken is ready. You definitely need to give this a try. I wish I could share this with you, but it's impossible. Anyway, you're still invited. You do let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up. And don't forget to share this with family and friends. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.